Debbie Simmons with eXp Realty in the central Vancouver Island real estate market area. I'm the managing broker of the eXp Shimanis branch. And today, uh, here with me today is Peter Carstensen with Bayside Mortgages from Duncan. Peter, I'd like you to introduce yourself. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Peter Karstensen. I'm uh, the broker owner of uh, Bayside Mortgages with uh, Dominion Lending Services. Um, we've been in uh, the Couchin Valley now for three years and prior um, to moving to Couchin Valley, we operated our brokerage in Calgary, Alberta. Um, we're uh, extremely excited to, uh, to be here and uh, service uh, the southern, southern uh, uh, Vancouver Island uh, market. That's wonderful. So I knew Peter from the time he was a little boy. He spent some of his childhood years in Shimanis, went away to Calgary, became a chemical engineer. And then I was reintroduced to him when he just came back a year or so back to the Couch and Valley. So I'm so excited that he's here. And um, I have a tremendous amount of confidence in Peter. You know, any of you that have worked with engineers in the past know how analytical they are and how they have systems in place and so on. And that's why I am so delighted to work with Peter because engineers don't tend to drop the ball. And that's the biggest problem we hear in the mortgage industry is that somebody dropped the ball. And you probably already realize too that a mortgage broker is a person to ask for your, for your uh, mortgage needs rather than a bank because there are professional shoppers. So Peter, the public has three big questions with this crisis that has hit us all uh, and that I'm hoping you can help us with. So the first thing I think people are wondering is, you know, who Absolutely. Should, okay, and so who should be refinancing and when? And that's a great question. And that's primarily the major source of activity right now for our office is uh, um, refinancing and what we're finding is, is, you know, many Canadians in the local, you know, Vancouver, Southern Vancouver Island, uh, area have uh, realized large equity gains in the, in the value, values of their homes. Um, but not necessarily, um, you know, have they stayed away from debt. And so what a lot of people are, you know, doing in today's market space is, um, trying to lower their overhead and reduce their costs um, in case they lose their job. Not everybody has lost their job. Or they're working remotely. Um, maybe they have a small uh, salary cut. Um, but for the most part, people that I'm working with, you know, they are still working remotely. Um, and so what they're trying to do is prepare for the worst case scenario because unfortunately nobody really knows how long this uh, um, pandemic is going to uh, go on for we all that you know, May, early June, we will see uh, some light at the end of the tunnel, but there's speculation that this could carry on uh, for much longer or have rebound, uh, um, you know, uh, effects mm -hmm. where, so many of my clients are looking to restructure. They may be, you know, in three or four of their five term, um, they're willing to absorb, you know, a penalty um, to restructure their life. Um, take a, take advantage of the lower interest rates that are available today and ultimately lower their overhead so that they, you know, they're able to weather the storm if they were to lose their job. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So that's great. So for people wanting to lower their costs or to, to pay the penalty to lock in early to, you know, maybe on a five year fixed to, to carry us through the storm, I guess that's what people are, are doing. And then, the, of course, the other thing is, is, you know, what percentage of people are deferring their mortgage payments and ultimately how will that affect them? I'm not savvy on exactly what percentage of Canadians are um, deferring their payments. Um, I do know of several of my own clients that have mm -hmm. deferred their payment. The process was quite easy little time like it took a while for the lender to get back to them in regards to uh, acknowledging their request um, so the major banks were a little easier to work with they uh, deferred right up to six months and a lot of the mortgage companies like you know for national land cap um, they're they're just mortgage companies they don't do anything else um, they started off with a three-month um, deferral payment 
um, with subject to review of further post uh, deferral of the payment upon the three months, uh, um, just to see where things go rather than just a full six months and uh, having the uh, client uh, accrue interest upon interest. Um, they wanted to just give them three months, let's see where things are at, and then make another decision for a little bit more conservative uh, of approach through the mortgage companies than uh, the big banks. But uh, um, I haven't heard of anybody not getting a deferral if needed. Okay, terrific. And then I think the last thing the public really is wanting to know is a bit of a market update where you see interest rates going and um, um, and you know, you know, we talked about this earlier, Peter, about how both you and I, our understanding of the market right now is that the spring market is shut down. This so will the summer market, but we're hoping that these markets will be deferred to this year to be a fall market and a winter market. And so, you know, we had strong demand going into the spring market, so there will be pent up demand coming out the other side of this once the economy opens up again. And we're just wondering what percentage of buyers are still going to be eligible to purchase and, and be qualified when they've had interruption in their employment. That's a great question. And, and what we're getting over and over again is that this isn't a financial crisis. This isn't a mismanagement or a work ethic situation. It is, it is a health pandemic where, um, interruption to work, layoffs due to, um, you know, COVID are not going to be looked at as negative impacts to employment positions for future qualifying. So um, I'm in agreement that there is pent up uh, demand, uh, interest rates are uh, dropping. I expect that they will drop a little more than they have already. And uh, I think the, the uh, you know, late summer, fall, winter market will be uh, stronger than it typically is. Okay, well that's great because that's good to know that you and I from two separate industries, both real estate related, sort of agree on that. So it's kind of confirmation that, you know, that's what we're anticipating. So that's great. So I want to thank you very, very much, Peter, for answering those very, very important questions for us. And uh, we'll sign off now. Uh, Debbie Simmons, uh, EXP Realty, if you would like to contact me with any of your real estate questions, please call me at 250-246-0708. And for Carstensen, Wayside Mortgage Solutions uh, okay. in Duncan, British Columbia. And if you have any mortgage-related questions, uh, feel free to give me a call at 50 701 Zero, zero. Thank you so much. Thank you Peter. very much, Debbie, for uh, having me on here. Yeah, my pleasure. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you yeah. very much. He's the best. Call him. He's the best. Bye bye, everyone. Thanks so much. <laughs> thank you. Okay.